Updates in Photoshop and Photoshop Beta are already available. In previous video, we tested Generative Expand in Photoshop and Photoshop Beta, so now let's test Generative Fill in both softwares. For this, I opened it photo in Photoshop and took Lasso tool to select the area where I would like to generate something new. When selection is ready, I click with right mouse button on the photo and choose Generative Fill. In prompt window, I type Blooming Tree with white flowers because I want to reach effect of the blooming tree in the spring. And when I click Generate button, we can see the first result that Photoshop provides us with. I will be honest, I really like this result, but I never missed the chance to check other options that Generative Fill generate. Unfortunately, in Photoshop, we can only leave a feedback of the results and nothing else. But if I don't like the options, I click Generate button once again to see what else Photoshop can provide me with. Obviously, I can see that Blooming Tree with white flowers is a bit tricky task for Generative Fill, so I change the prompt and make it a bit simpler. And those actions can be repeated more times until you will find the best option for you. But now let's switch to Photoshop Beta and see if this software can handle the task better. As before, I use Lasso tool to select the areas I would like to change on the photo. And here I will type just the same prompt as I did in Photoshop, so Photoshop Beta and Photoshop could have completely the same conditions of creating the final result. And here we can see the first results of Generative Fill, which already look more realistic than in Photoshop. But the amazing feature appeared in Generative Fill in Photoshop Beta, where we can add a reference image, based on which Generative Fill will create a new content. So for this I opened Freepik website and find some lifestyle photo of the similar blooming tree with white flowers that I would like to use. And I really enjoyed this tree on the blue sky, so I downloaded it. And to upload image, you need to click on Choose Image button and choose image from the device. You will see such a little check mark icon and you can leave prompt or erase it. After click generate button we will see the final result, which probably I put too much hopes on, as obviously the details of the tree are much lower and so why blue sky from the original photo appeared on the generated parts. Having this in mind, I decided to remove the background from the original photo with the tree, which is possible to do with new remove background button in the Photoshop beta. Obviously such type of removing background requires more additional adjustments, so I made a few tricks and exported photo to add it again as a reference image to generate a fill and try to generate a new tree. The results were surprising but in the bad way. So obviously transparent background was not an option. And at this point I would like to pay your high attention to the tips that Photoshop Beta provides you with when you test a new features. As for example here you can see that for the best results it's better to use a reference image on a white or black background. So I repeated my search and tried to find the blooming tree on the white background and I really like this type of the image. So again I edited it as a reference image and click generate button. And even if the final result doesn't fit my much to my idea on the photo, I really like the details and how the flowers look alike to the reference photo I attached. Another amazing feature that appears in Photoshop Beta is increasing quality or details of the generated parts. For this you just need to click icon over here near the generated option you like and details will become a bit more crispy and highlighted. Another great feature is hiding over here that allows you to generate a similar option to the one that you like the most and probably reach even better results. On the screen you can see how this feature Feature worked with my blooming tree. But if the nature was always a strong side of generative fill, let's test its weaker side, which will be generating animals. For this, let's start with Photoshop, and as always, with Lasso tool, I select the area where I would like to generate something new, and I would like to see some ships on the field. And to be honest, I didn't expect a lot, but I didn't expect something like this. So I hope to find in some other options some better results, but to be honest, animals stay a weak part of the Photoshop generative fill. And a little spoiler, not for a long time. Because if you will open Photoshop beta version and repeat just the same action with the same request, you will be so surprised to see the final results. As those animals look crazy realistic and even other options will offer you a very good results. So here you can see one photo after editing in Photoshop beta and in Photoshop. And if you think that this is all updates, you will be super surprised to see the next video where I will share the new feature that allow you to remove the background and replace the background on the so click the next video and I will see you there.